for two years before the first flight. I, I repeat, it took us two years to get it in the air. The importance of commercial secrecy within industry cannot be underestimated. Extensive simulation enabled the crew to test the configuration and controls long before the first flight and to make several major changes before construction began. The small size of the team showed considerable advantages for communication and for avoiding disturbance from other peripheral uh, activities within the company. Last, the aircraft was transferred to the East Flight Test Center, uh, owned by the French Armament uh, Procurement Agency, DGA, for the ground run and for the first flights, aiming at the qualification under military uh, registration, which was performed by a small team under uh, complete secrecy as well. What is the aim of this technological demonstrator? We have indeed many unknowns associated with conventional rotors moving at high speed. And this has to be investigated thoroughly before an optimized solution can go into production. This is precisely our objective. I must say we are extremely satisfied with the aircraft control and trim strategy seen so far. Your control using the propellers is very easy and stable. The pilots do not see any difference with the tail rotor. The propellers used on the prototype have performed extraordinarily well. Now that we have opened the speed envelope, we are starting to look at the optimum motor and propeller speeds for the different flight phases. And managing the distribution of the available power between the rotor and the propellers is easy. And during the coming tests, we will confirm this for all uh, phases of flight. Where, do we, where did we stand at the end of phase one? I, re I re recall you, we first flew September 2010. First phase was uh, aiming at uh, reaching 180 knots before December. It was a major success. We reached 185 knots extremely rapidly after 12 flight hours only. Despite gearbox uh, power limitation, maneuvering was easy and the crew found the new control methodology easier than the conventional helicopter. The tailplane, the wings, propellers, and the EC-155 main uh, rotor combined to give very good stability, even permitting the pilot to fly hands-off without autopilot. I repeat, we have no fly-by-wire fly -by -by on this XQ, and the, uh, the crew flew at 180 knots without autopilot, hands off. You may have seen at, after first flight some control feedback caused uh, oscillations during uh, the first flight, but this was quickly solved by the use of flexible control elements. Phase two started in April, and it, it used an increased uh, transmission power full power of the main gearbox. During the second flight, the crew was able to surpass the design aim of 220 knots, uh, achieving an impressive 230 knots. And I may underline, only at 80% of full power. The aircraft continues to show remarkable stability and maneuverability, even without any artificial uh, stabilization. Again, there is neither active nor no passive anti-vibration system on this XQ. Nothing. There is no fly-by-wire. And uh, during this phase two, the crew flew hands-off, autopilot off at 220 knots. The full maneuvering capabilities of the aircraft are now becoming apparent. Rapid acceleration and deceleration as well as very steep climb and descent paths are easily achievable 
in excess of 50 degrees, up and down. Roll over, roll over in excess of 100 degrees. <coughs> it's clear that higher speeds are clearly within reach. At this point in time, we are uh, concentrating ourselves on preparing the Paris Air Show, where the X Cube will appear daily with a spectacular display. I invite you to attend it at the Paris Air Show next week. What about the future? What does the future hold in store? We now need to transpose this proof of concept into the real product family. Based on the results of this uh, first test, we are now able to decide which weight class will be ideally suited to this concept. Knowing now the performance, the handling qualities, the exceptional handling qualities, the exceptional maneuverability of this aircraft, knowing the control strategy of this concept, we are now currently defining precisely which missions will benefit most <coughs> from this aircraft characteristics. For instance, search and ice cube, for instance, offshore oil exploration, for instance, point-to-point -point commuting. The efficiency of this configuration in hover and in forward flight is being validated on the basis of the first flight, and the results are more than promising. The aims of 50% more speed for about 10 to 20% additional production costs is now on the way to be demonstrated. Again, I refer to the equation from Phil. This is really value creation for our customers. I may end with a little mo movie showing X-Cube is real. 